My name is John Lang and I'm the, uh, the project manager of the National Indigenous Fire Safety Council project. I joined the project in April of 2020. As the project manager, my role is like a conductor of an orchestra to coordinate the parts of the project to ensure an overall successful conclusion. Um, the key things I've done uh, in the past year that I'm proud of are hiring the, a good project team uh, to get the work done. Uh, putting in place project management disciplines and practices. And now we're monitoring and controlling the project work. And I'm most proud of the team who have overcome COVID-19 to uh, continue to deliver uh, on the project schedule. I'm Jeremy Parkin. I am the Director of Program Development. My role is to oversee a team of subject matter experts from across the country. We are currently developing programs within the seven areas of public education, governance, fire department operations, inspections, investigations, fire department management, and community infrastructure. Right now, my team and I are busy creating, reviewing, and testing programs so that the project delivery team can begin rolling them out in 2021. By the time we are complete, we aim to have up to 78 specific programs developed. Some of these are in partnership with NFPA and cover public education, training, and certification. We also work with regional technical service groups and to ensure that our programs meet the needs of all communities. Hello, my name is Emma Hull and I'm the Director of Program Delivery for the National Indigenous Fire Safety Council project. Currently, we're delivering our fire department assessment, our community fire safety assessment and our home safety assessment programs. And we're working closely with our colleagues in program delivery to get some more programs up and running. We're focused on fire prevention and community education, as we know that those are the areas that have the most impact on fire and life safety outcomes. So we're very excited to get more of those programs out in the new year. And I definitely look forward to working with you and your community. Please do reach out and then we can get our delivery specialists connecting with your people so that we can bring about change for you. My name is Len Garris and I'm the Director of Research for the National Indigenous Fire Safety Council. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our research agenda, which is associated to fire problems for First Nations communities in Canada. And I will be talking about our research agenda for 2021. So a little bit of background, the National Indigenous Fire Safety Council is tasked with assuring fire safety among First Nations communities, which has a fire incident and casualty rate, which is uh, significantly higher than the rest of the rates for Canadian uh, population overall. This work speaks to a goal of significantly reducing fire rate focusing on First Nations and communities in Canada. So in terms of our research for 2021, uh, the project started with examining the feasibility of creating a new baseline of deaths and injuries in Canada in First Nation communities. And this work was commissioned in 2019 and was delivered in the beginning of uh, 2020, which basically outlined an approach to establishing that baseline of mortality and morbidity. The second project was a research and a report using existing data from Statistics Canada and Indigenous Services Canada in a report that was, uh, uh, that was issued in uh, 2000 and, uh, 2020 in January. And our work was to create a de demographic profile of fire risk uh, people and places on First Nations communities in Canada. This work, um, is going to be utilized in order to prioritize uh, programs and services geographically in Canada. The third initiative was uh, research and reporting on the aggregate mortality and morbidity uh, with Statistics Canada. That project has been commissioned and we're seeking uh, to determine fire-related casualties and construct into an operational report that will occur in the first quarter of 2021. Uh, the fourth uh, initiative is to create a survey instrument to answer questions around codes and standards from stakeholders around building codes and fire codes, and that report has been completed and is posted. A research and report around fire risk associated to the grading and costs of home and commercial insurance. There is a cost-benefit ratio to providing services in First Nations communities in terms of 
aggregate cost of insurance. Uh, the next project uh, is to research and report on a business plan for retrofitting and installing in new and retrofitted uh, buildings, uh, sprinklers and working smoke alarms. And we hope to be able to uh, identify a policy statement that helps uh, communities understand uh, what the relative reduction in risk will be in terms of installing uh, working smoke alarms and fire sprinkler systems. We're also working on research to collaborate uh, agreements with other organizations such as Statistics Canada, uh, Canadian Association of Fire Chiefs, uh, Fire Marshals of Canada, various academic institutions so that we can collaborate our research with other areas in order to get support and uh, have them participate in some of our work. And the last thing that we're doing this year is to catalog all Indigenous centres with academic institutions and friendship centres uh, where possible in Canada to uh, help us focus on uh, employment opportunities and recruiting uh, for the National Indigenous Fire Safety Council. And that would be uh, uh, an overall highlight of the work that's being done in terms of research, which will be ending in 2021, March 31st. Thank you.